Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the new Citadel Dry Paints, specifically Necron Compound, the new Light Silver, Golden Griffin, the new kind of old gold uh, dry brush color, and finally Praxetti White, the new white one. The first thing that I was interested for these new dry paints was their texture. So as you can see here, uh, when you open up the bottle, they're very much uh, dry. They're almost like a, a gelatinous substance. I basically kind of compare them to uh, paint once you've dehydrated it, if you let it out, left it out in the sun for a while, or kind of like um, makeup foundations. If, you, if you've ever seen a foundation makeup, you'll know what kind of the texture I'm talking about. Obviously, my second question was, how well do these paints dry brush? Since the new silver is called Necron Compound, I figure there's no better model to test out than a Necron Deathmark. So I opened up the bottle of Necron Compound and uh, put the brush in. As you can see, the brush basically just uh, kind of bounces against the top of it, um, and it is just really chock full of pigment. In fact, just by touching my brush against the paint, it filled the brush full of pigment, so I it had to literally brush a lot of it off against a paper towel. But however, once I started using it against the uh, model, it turned out really, really nicely. Um, in fact, I might have actually used too much pigment when I used the dry brush, um, which I kind of found to be easy with these new pigments. However, uh, the Necron compound went very easily uh, dry brushed over the entire model. Uh, it's a very nice bright silver color and it uh, provided some uh, light detail over the edges of all the parts of the Necron model. And here's what it looked like when it was basically uh, just finishing up and you can see it's much lighter and has a lot more edge detail on all the metallic areas, thanks to this new dry paint. So to test the new gold dry brush, I used this halberd from the previous reviews. As you can see, the new Griffin Gold went on very easily for a dry brush, and since it's a really old gold color, it really dulled the, uh, the gold down and made it look really, as I said, old and uh, pretty dull. Here's what it looked like when after just doing a very quick dry brush. Once again, I might have used uh, too much pigment, which um, knowing this using next time, I will probably uh, make sure to wipe off as much as possible. Finally, to see how well the white works, I figured no better model than a black primed uh, Tiernan model, which I had lying around. So I tried to see how, what coverage I could get over a black prime model and as you can see here actually it works really well um, just by just dabbing the brush a little bit into the white paint and dry brushing it it actually gave great coverage and brought out a lot of the edge details on all of the uh, the dry brush parts so to summarize um, I found these paints to be very interesting Basically, these paints are just packed with pigment, and uh, they actually do a pretty good job of using them to dry brush. And I figured these paints will only be used for dry brushing and not much else, since it would be hard to, uh, to water them down in their current state. Plus, they come in about, I think, 15 different colors, which is cool, and a variety of different colors, metallics, and even pastels, purples, so I think it's pretty cool. My biggest concern though was actually having too much pigment on my brush at a time. So I definitely recommend all people is be very careful and to get off as much as possible off your brush before you start dry brushing. And that's it. So as always, thank you to all you awesome people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. You guys are awesome. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. So, this has been another review, stay tuned for another review, and happy painting everyone!